And let me bring my guest up now. How you doing, Gary? Let's do a quick sound check, brother. Can you hear me good? I can hear you. How about can you hear me? Loud and clear, brother. Five All by right. five, you're good. Um, so a lot of things that I want to cover. Um, but two things I want to bring up. Um, so the the audience, I'm keeping an eye on the Rumble, the Rumble chat uh, section right now, along with DLive. You guys do not let me forget, and I'll try to do it right away so I don't forget, but remind me to bring up the comment. What's his partner's name again? Uh, Fanones? The one at Twitter. Jimmy Albright. Jimmy Albright. Remind me to explain you guys the context of when he says, they didn't steal one magazine, two, and then the guy. Ah. That, that is such a critical statement. And, and, and I don't want it to go um, just real quick and fly by. So if I don't get to that, someone in the chat. I'm glad you caught that. You're like, Alpha, don't forget this. Um, I also want to make sure, uh, Gary, that we cover uh, Fanon doing that. I'm passed out. Let me open an eye. I'm passed out. Let me open an eye. Because <laughs> that's just poor acting. Um, yeah. And this is what I want to say, you guys, because <laughs> – I'm pissed. I, I get I, it's great work, Gary. Like, don't get me wrong. It just it pisses me off that this is out there, and mainstream media is not covering it. The January sixth committee is not covering it. You know the you know popular influencers aren't covering it. You know even conservative networks aren't covering it because you have one side that wants to hide the truth, feed a narrative, and you have another side that says the truth's important to me as long as it doesn't cost me my paycheck. So I'm still going to play within the rules. And this is BS. We have Americans right now, everybody. We have Americans in jails across the country, specifically in the D.C. Gulag, which might as well be the Gitmo of the United States here on our on our ground. And there's information. You just seen information that shows perjury, conspiracy. I mean, major, major crimes. And you also saw, and this is when we get to Jimmy Albright, you're going to see the mindset. And, and the reason, like I said, God's timing is you have the magnificent work. You guys won't even imagine the amount of hours every week Gary has been working, studying, researching to put this 28-minute this 28 minute, 28 minute video together. I'm telling you, that 28-minute minute video is probably hundreds, if not thousands of hours of work. That's no exaggeration. And the reason I know that, Gary, is because when I was working homicides and I had to go and look at surveillance cameras, you know, yeah. there was one particular bar. It only had about six cameras, and I'm only monitoring a, an eight-hour window. And that took days and days and days to go and, and outline what happened, the different angles. So I can imagine yeah. the sheer volume of work that you've had behind, you know, your caseload. And we'll give you a chance to talk about that, too. And we'll start off, we'll yeah. take a pause here so everybody can know who you are and where to find you because that's important. All this hard work and what we learned tonight, it's in vain if you patriots don't have the courage to share it. That's the responsibility that's on your end of tonight's show. So, Gary, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this, um, you want to just share with everybody what got you into this, why you're at, because, man, you have sacrificed a lot more than a lot of people will know. And, and if there's things you don't want to bring up, I respect that. But I want people to understand the price tag that this has cost you in your life right now. So I'll give it to you, Gary. Tell us a little bit about you and, and why you're doing this to begin with. Okay. Well, okay. you know, when we were locked down, we uh, we had a family-owned company here in town. And uh, during the lockdown, what happened is what happened to a lot of people, um, especially with the SBA, you know, waiting for our EIDL loan. Um, they said I wasn't a real company, didn't have a real bank account. It took them 11 months to get us an EID loan. By then, it was too late. We had to shut our doors. And we, we closed down. Um, oil and gas company, the same thing. I had to sell it just to survive. So I got had to get, you know, I just lost everything that we were living on. And so um, I didn't have anything else to do. I was just watching videos. Uh, There's a video from J6 that I watched. A couple things caught my eye. Um, I wanted to know what it was. And so as I started investigating that, a lot of things came up. I, uh, that was January 15th. And I was not at the Capitol on January 6th. But this was January 15th. And uh, for the next 28 days, I uh, watched over 400 hours of video and um, uncovered a bunch of stuff from there. And I couldn't stop watching. I couldn't stop. I wanted the truth, plain and simple. And I still want the truth this day. I knew we weren't getting the truth. So I was 
going to find the truth of what happened and what why it happened. And so as I did that, um, you know, it caused some friction within my household. My wife left me. We were married for 28 years and she left me on June 22nd. And at that point, um, you know, that hurt. So I was uh, angry at God one night. We were also kids pastors for 12 years. Um, I questioned God of all things. Um, I'm a spirit filled believer. And as soon as those words came out of my mouth and then when I told God, if he's real at all, he better prove it to me. And he let me know right then and there and said, use what I gave you or you won't have it for long. So it was at that point right there that started to help me to overcome what happened. God will remove things in your lives to get you to the next stage in your life, what he needs you for. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And um, I won't stop. It's I can't bring my family back together again. So my goal is to bring J6 families back together again. That's been separated by what's going on. Hmm. Gary, <laughs> no one's got me emotional on my show yet, man. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep my bearing here, but let me tell you. Well, I'll you. tell you, I, I got through it without having to <laughs> do all this me, stuff. You know, it's not easy because it still let, hurts, but, but well, let, let me tell you why. God, I love you, man. I, I, I've never physically met you, but I freaking love you, man. I'm going to tell you why. I've prayed so many times for, for people to have the courage to fight for me, to fight for us, to fight for the people from January 6th. Because immediately following it, there was a lot of hype around it. There was a lot of... Whether you supported it, whether you condemned it, whatever side of the aisle you were on, there was a lot of attention to it. So it was not hard at that time during that climate to get Tucker to talk about it, you know, to get, you know, we're going to, I'm going to play a CNN clip later on with, with Dom, with Don Lemon Sauce, you know. Um, but once the narrative for the left was out there, and and once certain political talking heads, you know, from the GOP said their piece, it it fizzled out, except for the people that were involved, except for the people that were sitting in solitary confinement cells. Instead, for the wives and the children that were back home saying, how am I going to keep this mortgage? Where's my dad? Parents, where, where's my son? And then they're hearing stories of these people being beat, a guy losing his vision, another guy not getting medical treatment. And all this is going on. And I'm just, I'm praying. I'm praying because I'm like, the, the path on my story leads me right into one of those gulags. And, and people aren't fighting hard enough. And the fact is, people still are not fighting hard enough, not even remotely close. And, and you, you lost your partner in life. And even at that, most people would have hung it up right there, Gary. Most people would have said, no, this is the price tag on this is too much. Uh, th this isn't going to affect my life the way it is. There's, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to worry about me. Most people, that's what they would have did. <clears throat> and, and you did it, man. And, and you keep going at it with with great peril at risk for yourself because they know who you are now you mm -hmm. you know the, and i'll let you talk about how much you want to but the information you've been requesting that you are on a target list i think me and you both recognize that yeah and you and you don't stop and and that's why i wanted to make sure we covered that first so the audience if you're listening and you're and you're like you know thank you gary god bless you gary i'm i'm, I'm glad that you appreciate it and recognize it. But what I would like to hear, and I hope I see it in the live chat, you know, we have around 500 people watching live on Rumble. I hope to see this comment. Gary, I'm in the fight with you. I, I, I yeah. want to research. I want to look in this. I'm going to, Gary, I'm going to support your cause. Like, I, I give, give him, give him some hope that the work he's doing is for a purpose. Let him know that there is an army of people who seek the truth in a legal way, because I know how the FBI, the Department of Justice, wants to take everything out of context. Let them know how we, Americans, patriots, will fight for our country in a legal way, in a just way.
fight for the truth, and I won't quit.